precious pearls. Once the dish of shahs and czars, black caviar is back to stay. Canada's first sustainable sturgeon caviar has just come on the market to overwhelming demand. Valued at over 3,000 Canadian dollars per kilogram, this caviar could be Canada's most valuable agricultural export. For Justin Henry, the long road to sustainable caviar began with a gamble. We had the technology, we could see the stocks declining in the wild, and the availability of sturgeon eggs from the university. All these things came together, and we thought, this is an opportunity. There are a whole pile of unknowns, but let's start and see if we can get through them. A decade ago, wild caviar was on its way to extinction. Overfishing and pollution in the Caspian Sea, where 90% of sturgeon caviar is harvested, led the UN agency CITES to ban its international sale in 2006. Modern farming found a solution. There's no potential for localized outbreaks of disease or parasite to be transferred into wild populations and wild stocks because it's a completely closed land-based system. In the wild, too, it can take a female sturgeon up to 35 years to begin producing caviar-quality eggs. By creating the ideal conditions on his farm, Justin has brought that weight down to 11. At maturity, each fish can produce 4 to 7 kilograms of caviar, netting as much as $20,000 per fish. The next challenge is to reach caviar lovers around the world. By getting around the UN trade protections for the wild variety of sturgeon. CITES is set up to restrict trade and we're trying to use CITES to enable trade for our caviar. We want to be able to export to global markets. For Canada's gourmets, it hasn't been a hard sell. Fortunately, quality and sustainability uh, are connected. Um, so for a chef, it's, it's, it's quite easy to, to make the, most, uh, the quality choice, which is also the most, usually the most sustainable choice. With demand high and Henry Sturgeon stock still growing, it looks like the modern version of this ancient delicacy is here to stay.